Welcome back to King's Daughters Medical Center Sports Zone. I'm Norman Seawright. She is Adrian Robbins. We're diving right back in, right back in the field, headed to Sissonville. Winfield taking on Sissonville this week on the road. How do you stay warm on a cold night? Pass each other around like a hot potato. That is how third quarter action. Winfield up 14 to 7. Generals all fourth down and less than inches, more than like four in an index card. They go for it. John Colbert, not only the first down, he gets the whole enchilada touchdown. Now the kick was good and that made it 21 to 7. Winfield, big play. A few possessions later, Sissonville trying to get it going with number two, Will Hackney hitting seven. Murphy for the touchdown. Now a few plays later, Sissonville with the fourth down and they would go for it. Will Hackney drifts and launches it for the end zone. Close to a grab, but no dice. Now each team would score more than once, but the Winfield Generals command the victory tonight, 28 to 14, the final. Not bad. Not How bad at all. are you going to beat that one? Look, the cheerleaders are having so a great the, time. Look, I'm too big for that. You can't throw me around like that. To the tri-state border we go, Raceland with Fairview tonight. Early in the second quarter, that's where we're going to start this game. The Rams have possession of the football. Caleb Rousey, the quarterback here, and he is preparing to throw downfield. The guy's looking for, in fact, his name is Mike Bartley, and there it goes. Bartley runs down the sidelines. It's a 15-yard gain for the Rams. Later in the second quarter, the Eagles three yards from the goal line. Jack Roy is the quarterback this time. He's throwing downfield, and he is intercepted. Derek Ooh. Pennington, and no one is going to stop Pennington at all. He goes all the way back to the end zone, a 97-yard touchdown. Extra points, no good. The score by this going. point is 44 to nothing. Racing in the lead. Now we go to the third quarter. Caleb Rousey with the ball once again. And look at him go, making some moves to avoid the defense. Oh, Finally oh. taken down by Rodney Johnstone. It's another Rams first down then. The Rams end the third quarter with a 44-point lead, plus 10 for good measure. Oh. Raceland runs away with this shutout win, 50 to nothing. Wow. Man. Now we're going to head right down the road in that state. Absolutely. To Ironton, the Fighting Tigers welcoming Dawson Bryant. We're going to start in the first quarter. The Hornets are forced to punt. The kick goes long. The Tigers will pick up on downs from their own 15-yard line. Early in the second quarter now, the Tigers have possession. Gage Sailors looking to throw. Aiden Barnes with the catch, avoiding the defense, just barely making the first down. Next, Hornets possession. Nate Harmon with the ball Throwing. All the time in the world. That guy. He decides wow. to run it though. Why not? He runs down the sidelines and out of bounds for the Hornets first down. Now the first half ends with no score from both teams, but that would change. Ironton putting up 21 points for the win. Tigers are now six and two. Not too shabby. Feeling pretty not good this at week. All. Not bad at all. We're gonna head into halftime here in King's Daughter's Sports Zone tonight, but first we have to hear from the band this week. Capital is our band of the week. Take it away, guys. <laughs> 